you just pull back on the stick a little bit to, to get it into a stall. Um, this shouldn't happen much, the nose will just drop a bit. The wing shouldn't drop, but if the wing drops, I will counter with opposite rudder. Um, unload the wings, with a stick forward, um, apply power, and climb out of the dive. Do a slight buffet there, a full stick back, there it drops. What is up everyone? Welcome to this video and welcome on board. Today we're going to um, go do some stalls, some slow flight, maybe some steep turns, and yeah, just have a bit of fun. So um, I also hope to show you the, um, the stall performance of this aircraft in, in all configurations. Um, we're wearing this nifty chest cam today to, to help me see the, the speeds when I review the video so I can keep my eyes outside while I'm flying. So yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Let's do it. Prime by traffic in Italy, Charlie, rolling runway 27 left now, departing towards uh, Ikangala area. Traffic The nose will just drop a bit and I will um, recover immediately. The wing shouldn't drop, but if the wing drops, I will counter with opposite rudder. Um, unload the wings with a stick forward, um, apply power and climb out of the dive. Alright, so I've done my ASL checks and I'm going to uh, pull back the power. Pull back and pull up the stick a little bit. I'm going to keep it straight with the rudder. About 50, 47, 46. Do a slight buffet there, a full stick back, there it drops. Alright, recovered. So I did drop the left wing a little bit, but I recovered soon enough. I think it was about 44 miles per hour, but I'll check on the video afterwards. Before we continue, it's maybe worthwhile to mention that this video isn't about me showing you how to perform the stall recovery exercise. I'm not an instructor. It's just me practicing it for myself since I haven't done it in a while. And I definitely made a few errors like adding aileron input after a slight wing drop, which is a big no-no in stall recovery. Alright, so let's do the same thing, but we're um, in standard landing configuration, which is all flaps. So I'm in flap speed, I'm going to take off flaps. And I'm going to pull power back. Keep it straight with the rudder. Pull more power back. More back. More back. Okay, it's just there's a slight drop of the nose. Nothing more than that, so let's recover. Alright, so also fairly anticlimactic. I think the speed was a bit lower than the clean configuration. Well, it should be. I didn't watch the speed. I was, I had my eyes outside. Let's turn in this direction. And now I'm going to do the same with full flaps. A full flap stall. Alright, so I'm in flap speed. I've taken full flaps. Pump on. Alright, keep it straight with the rudder. Close the throttle. Full stick back, 
Well, close. Okay, drops a bit. Okay, recovered. Okay, that uh, did drop the, the one wing a bit, but I recovered with rudder. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this slow flight. I'm going to do it in landing configuration. I think that's the best way to do it. And we're going to start at 55 uh, miles per hour and just do 10 gentle turns and see, uh, see how she handles it. All right, landing configuration. Flap half flaps. I'm going to close the throttle a bit. Okay, I'm going to try to speed, keep the speed at about 55 for now uh, without losing altitude. Okay, it's a bit lower than 55, but it's fine. Okay, it's about. You know, I'm not climbing anymore. About 53 miles per hour, so let's do a gentle right turn. Let's try to keep it very coordinated. I'm losing a bit of altitude there. Just gave a bit of power back in. Still at 55. All right, 55 in landing configuration, not too bad. So let's make it a bit slow now. I'm going to do the same thing in landing configuration, standard landing configuration at 50 miles per hour. And let's uh, see how she handles it. I'm going to do a turn to the right. And preferably without losing altitude. Okay, that's about 52. 49. 51. Gentle 30 degrees turns at 50 miles per hour, she handles quite well. And of course, that was in handy configuration. Uh, Radio Bravo Tell, operate at helicopter GS, doing left and quickly. I'm not comfortable to go a whole lot slower than that. Radio Bravo Tell. Uh, for the slow flight, and they said that cool flap should probably be able to do 45, but I'm not really comfortable enough at this stage to, to try that out. Yeah, so I think I'm going to head back. Thank <laughs> you.